We the wolf pack, it's that time again, man. Several scary videos that will make you stay inside, says Spooks. You of the bat, man. Show me what you got cooking. Hello everyone, my name is Sir Spooks, and today we'll take a look at seven scary videos. But before we begin, make sure to subscribe for more scary content. Go sub to Sir Spooks, right. bro. With that said. Let's begin. Fire videos before the live. Number seven. When working as a custodian anywhere, you would probably expect it to be quite the safe job. Is it a little bit gross? Sure, it can be, but it's not unsafe or anything like that. Or is it? These two videos were uploaded to TikTok by a user who says that he works as a custodian at a haunted school, stating that his co-worker sent him the following piece of footage. Let's take a look and see what happens. So he knows this school is haunted and he's still walking there. Whatever happens to Bro-Bro is the Bro-Bro's fault, bro. Well, after the haunted school at the custodian, I'm at the water center. Well, I don't know. I didn't see nothing. This is definitely one of those videos in which a bit of explanation will help things out a bit. Yeah. If you listen very carefully, you can almost hear what sounds like some sort of a crying ghostly entity moving right by the custodian before eventually disappearing into thin air. It's remarkable just how quickly this am happens. I, am I the only person that didn't hear anything? I was hearing some noises, but I thought it was the person recording. It can't be that deep though. Before the ghost seemingly disappears. I think they'll play it back. The second video that was uploaded by the custodian showcases a machine that has motion sensors set up in the school, meaning that it will only get activated once somebody has walked right by it. Mm. So what in the world is going on here? Can it be activated by very very small insects though? No it can't. It cannot. Oh, what is this sound, bro? Oh, nah. Wait, can it be activated by... As you can see, the motion sensors continuously flicker on for several seconds throughout the duration of the video, much to the confusion and fear of the custodian in the school. To this day, this is a case that has not been solved. What do you guys think is going on here? Wait, 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 do you wait. Think I, I have to ask the important questions. You know I like to ask the important questions. First things first, what's the range of what can trigger that? You know, like, is it can small insects trigger it? Which I, I doubt. I honestly doubt. But secondly, why is it so close to the wall, though? You feel me? Thirdly, how far away does the object have to... Wait, but we saw... We just saw it had to be close. Bro, now nah, that's, that's crazy. That's crazy, bro. That there was a crying ghost wandering around the school. If so, why do you think no, it was... it doesn't have to be that far. It has to be far. Like, look. Look at where they, look at where they put it, bro. The custodian in the school. Just wait, I will show to you To this day, bro. this is a case that has not been solved. What do you guys think is going on here? Do you think that there was a crying ghost wandering around the school? Okay, look. I'm guessing that motion detector is for this door. You see the distance between the motion detector and the door. So I'm guessing that also transfers like a little bit farther away from there. So the custodian might have been able to trigger it. I'm just saying. I'm just saying. I'm just saying. Anything could have happened. It, that's a very, very strong sensor for it to be able to span that distance. So at the same time, though, that's kind of crazy. I'm not gonna lie, that's if so, crazy. why do you think it was crying? I'd love to hear all your theories oh, in the comments. Crying, the crying baby, bro. Number six. The following video was posted to the popular ghost subreddit by a user known as Leon is a. I live in a house that was built in the 1920s. The ghost slash spirits that resides here is malicious just a tad mischievous i've been trying to capture some of the activity that happens around here for months and i finally captured something good okay 
ghost okay. a couple of weeks ago and has been taking the online paranormal community by storm. Leon states that he lives in a house that was built in 1926, uh -huh. which is quite interesting and kind of cool to say the least. He says that he believes that there's a ghost that is roaming the house constantly, but he states that he thinks that the ghost isn't malicious at all, hey. but rather instead he thinks it's mischievous. He says that he's been trying to capture some of the activity that happens around the house for months on end, but to no avail. That is, however, until this particular video in which he finally captured something. Take a look. Bro, are those eyes? That could have been the wind. Could it? Wouldn't it have been? Oh. What's that? What's the flicking light? Is that a motion sensor? Oh no. No, 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 no. Winds do not blow like that. The wind can't blow like this and then blow like that. Nah, 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 nah. Something, something crazy going on here. And are those eyes? As you can see, the video clearly shows evidence that there's something quite bizarre going on inside of Leon's house. The footage that he ended up getting on camera shows some lights flickering on and off constantly while the door is closing and opening. Nobody is quite sure of what exactly is going on in this video. We all just know that it's very creepy. If there truly is a ghost living in Leon's house, whether he thinks it's harmless or not, I think it's probably a good idea for him to move out someplace else as soon as possible. I always say that, but you know what? They never listen. They never listen. They never they never choose to move out. If someone sees they are haunted, they immediately see, oh square, let me record this. Let me let me start the let me start a ghost paranormal stuff in my house. Nah, this ghost can literally send you to another planet. Actually, no, leave your body here and send your spirit to another planet, bro. A man known as Jordan G posted a video to his YouTube channel on November 11th, 2021 okay. that showcases some eerie footage. Jordan says that he works as a security guard someplace, with this particular video being recorded at 5.30 in the morning. Jordan takes his phone camera and zooms in on one of the security cameras located directly in front of him, highlighting a passageway down on the well, street that's, that's with a sewage drain that's locked off. Bro, that looks like a person. That looks like a person sitting down there. But there also appears to be something else down there. Something that may or may not be friendly. No, that's a Take person a look. though. Look at the shape of the body. It's a person though. Hey man, so I'm sitting up here at work, right? I'm a security guard, guys. It's 5.38 in the morning. This passageway down there with a sewage drain, that's locked off actually. And you see them glaring eyes right there, right? Now mind you, I don't know what the hell that is down there. But it's weird, bro. Wait, no, glaring eyes, though. That's a bit of a stretch now, isn't it? I just thought those were lights, but let's assume they are glaring eyes. This this bit, I don't know if you can see my cursor, but like this bit right here is definitely a person sitting down. Now, the, now he mentions the eyes. I can literally see why he thinks those are eyes because I can see a figure of a body, too. Now, this is confusing as hell. It's definitely confusing. Like, it popped up and as the camera as you can see is black and white as the other ones is in color you see i can zoom out on it and i can zoom in on it and the eyes are just layering that i don't know what the hell that is man it's not a person i think it's a person what the heck i don't know if it's a dog man or something it's something back there bro i really do think it's a person you though. see it a pair of creepy glowing eyes can be seen staring down near the passageway. Jordan says that he has absolutely no idea as to what these creepy eyes could possibly belong to. However, a lot of people in the comments seem to think that these eyes belong to that of the Dogman. For those who are unaware, legend has it that in 1887, residents of Wexford County, Michigan were startled by the sight of a mysterious creature. That's a werewolf now. Roaming the woods. 
Descriptions varied, but most agreed it was a towering figure, standing at an imposing seven feet tall. Its eyes, reported as either piercing blue or amber, seemed to gleam with an otherworldly intelligence. Witnesses Bro, spoke of a creature the, that defied easy categorization, that's the definition of part wolf, canine, bro. with a haunting howl that echoed through the night, chilling the bones of all who heard it. This enigmatic being came to be known as the Dogman, a figure steeped in local folklore and whispered tales. Bro, that's the definition. According that, to that, the story, that's a very, very distinct definition of the, the wolves and teen wolves. The Dogman emerges from the shadows once every decade, making decade? its presence known in years that end with the number seven. Reports of sightings have persisted over the years, scattered across the state of Michigan, but particularly concentrated in the northwestern reaches of the Lower Peninsula. Despite skeptics dismissing the creature as nothing more than a product of overactive imaginations, mm -hmm. the allure of the Dogman endures. So what do you guys think? Does this video show the infamous Dogman, or is this something else entirely different? Please feel free to share your thoughts and theories in the comments. Here are my thoughts. Here are my thoughts. My thought is this might be a person. The white something because I, I, I've seen it moving. Now this with the eyes, I don't know. Now if this image was in color, I would have said I square. Now that part of it, I'm still kind of skeptical. No, I'm not skeptical. I'm going to just go with what they said. Dogman or whatever. Nah, you know what? I'm not even gonna go with what they say because that doesn't look like a dogman in any shape, way, or form, bro. I can see that it, there is a body connected to the eyes, but at the same time, the body isn't moving. But the camera is kind of like the eyes are kind of like going in and going out. So it could be a light, but this is definitely a person. And that person isn't reacting, so I don't know what to. This TikTok video was posted to the platform by a young girl named Sawi. In the video, we watch as she wanders around outside in the middle of the night, Why? seemingly walking around a grassy hilltop area while talking Why? to the camera. At first, nothing scary seems to be happening, but things quickly take a seriously sinister turn in just a matter of moments. Watch this. Seban está en la pieza, pero yo sentí el olor raro por acá. No sé qué está pasando, pero quiero tratar de grabar. Miren eso. How did you find yourself in this kind of a situation? What, what are you doing outside in the night? What are you doing outside in the night? Either, sometimes I feel like, sometimes I feel like, oh, it's queer, it's not their fault, oh, this should have never happened to them, the paranormal should just face people that come to sick them. And then there are sometimes I'm like, bro, you have a house for a reason. Even if you're, you're homeless, bro, go stay with other homeless people. What are you doing wandering around in the night holding a camera and recording and, and it has to sound like you're getting nailed. Come on, bro. <laughs> what happened? Did you see it? No. Out of nowhere, a mysterious figure can be seen standing right behind this tree, which Sawi notices almost instantly, at which point she screams and proceeds to run away for dear life. Why wouldn't something chase you? What are you doing outside in the night with a recording camera? Sadly, we never really get a good look at the figure that's standing behind the tree, so she was we not just really outside, she was there making noise. That was a bit of a human. Tepe, 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 like she was there making noise, talking, 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 talking. Why are you talking? I, I promise you, if I'm outside in the night, I will make sure even my foot, even if I'm still inside my house, if I'm still in my house and I'm walking around at night, bro, I make sure I make as little noise as possible, bro. As little noise as possible. I don't want to disturb nobody. I know I'm not supposed to be awake, but I'm awake. So I'm not going to disturb people that are supposed to be awake, which are this kind of dumb shits. Something nah, else entirely. Either way, it's an unsettling video that just goes to show you that danger is lurking around every corner, even when you think you're alone. Remember this video That's next time bad, you're walking somewhere alone at night. I'm never going to be walking anywhere. <laughs> A YouTuber known simply as BW posted a video to his channel which showcases video footage of him driving on the Crow's Nest Highway 3, located in British Columbia, Canada, at 2.48 in the morning 
on July 30th, 2023. Don't you guys have a lot of people think driving in the middle of the night on a long dark road, such as this one, would be super creepy and for good reason. Yes. However, usually those fears don't turn into anything. Except in this video, they do. As the man drives smoothly, all of a sudden, he spots something on the road that would be enough to scare the soul right out of anybody's body, no matter what time of the day it is. Take a look. <laughs> wow, I thought that was the... Out of nowhere, death too. a woman wearing some kind of a white wedding dress can be seen simply walking in the middle of the road. That's not why that's blue. I don't know if you can see it or if my clinical will be blocking it, but that's not why that's blue. That's definitely blue. It's like a very, very like well thought out dress too. Like For no discernible reason. The uploader seemingly sees this, as you can see him swerving the car a little bit in order to avoid collapse. I, somehow I would say stop and help, but I know what goes on in the world, bro. I'm not a fool. I know what be going on in the world, bro. The world is not a safe place no more. Helping people can end you in situations where you need to be getting helped, man. Nah. Lighting with the mysterious woman. The man continues driving afterward, which was probably a smart idea in case this was some kind of a witch or ghost or something. Facts. Regardless, it definitely makes you wonder what in the world was going on was she here. Waving, was she waving down the car Ghosts too? are believed to appear on rural roads at night due to various reasons. Some suggest they are tied to tragic events like accidents or untimely deaths mm. that occurred in those locations, mm. while others speculate they linger due to unresolved emotions or unfinished business. So could this be a ghostly woman on the road, Bro. or was it simply a strangely behaving person? We would never know. After well. watching this video, make sure to be extra careful the next time you find yourself driving on the highway. In the latest I've ever driven in my life is um, 10:30, 10:30 p.m., 10:30 p.m. And that was that was a mistake. I went on a date. I went on a date, and um, the food didn't come on time. The food came by, we went, we got there by 7, we got there by 7, you feel me, the food didn't come till like 9, 9.30, so we got done eating say 10 o'clock and then pictures and what's not, that was 10.30 and then I started coming back home. Bro, I'm never doing that again. The dark. Managed WordPress hosting by Hostinger. Here are three super features to improve your website. For over a century, Gettysburg, Pennsylvania has echoed with eerie tales of the supernatural. Ghostly whispers of fallen soldiers and spectral apparitions haunt the historic town, where the echoes of the Civil War still reverberate. In July 1863, the fields of Gettysburg bore witness to one of the bloodiest battles in American history. Over three days, Union and Confederate forces clashed in a savage conflict that left thousands dead and wounded. The aftermath was a scene of unimaginable horror, with the cries of the dying echoing across the battlefield. Yet even after the cannons fell silent, the scars of war endured. Many Confederate soldiers were denied proper burials, their restless spirits perhaps doomed to wander the fields of Gettysburg for eternity. Now more than 140 years later, these lingering spectres continue to cast a shadow over the town, their presence a haunting reminder of the cost of war. This chilling video posted to YouTube by a channel named Reflections of America follows a group of investigators driving out to the area in order to see if they can capture anything creepy on camera. For the first minute and a half or so, we watch silently as nothing of interest happens. However, that quickly changes, and this simple video rapidly turns into something absolutely terrifying. Take a look. Holy, holy crap. Down by the can, you see that? Oh, what is that? Wish. That's a person. Oh my god. Is it... 
Oh, it's not all part No of way. Room. What run. is that? I'm, I have no. I know what it is. It's your cue to jet. Man, run. What the. Uh, oh, friggin' idea. Did you get that on the camera? I. It's recording. Oh my gosh. Did you see that? Oh, nah, they are bold. They are uh, bold. You, honestly. I, I wouldn't believe it unless we recorded it. If you look just about where the cannons are positioned on the grass, you can see what looks to be some kind of a ghostly entity lurking right behind them for about 20 seconds before disappearing entirely. They are both this is definitely quite them. an interesting video to watch, especially if you're someone who finds the Gettysburg stories fascinating. If this video is indeed real, then it serves as a bold reminder to never venture out to this area in case you spot something such as this. Never venture out to this area at night. People keep forgetting the at night. Stay in your house. In the last <coughs> video I uploaded, we explored part one of Chris, aka Urbex Hill's exploration of this abandoned and allegedly haunted school, which seemed to be absolutely loaded with scares. Sadly, this is a school in which a teen lost their life outside on the steps of the school a few months prior to Chris recording the video. It's a sad story that makes the place seem even more unsettling. As Chris wanders around the school, just about four minutes in we already see him experiencing some rather chilling activity. Watch as he stumbles upon a gate that he doesn't remember being there at all. Oh crap. I do not remember this being here. They probably added it. Hello? Stop asking. Hello? The fact that this random gate was placed in the school randomly after the fact just makes things. Wait, was it was it like on the same day? If it was on the same day, I'll, <laughs> I don't want to know if it's the government. A government that put it there. I'm gone. That much more unsettling. How in the world did this gate get here, and why? Who exactly put it there? It all remains a mystery. Chris Stay nevertheless decides to continue exploring the building which proves to be a gigantic mistake. At around the 35 minute mark of the video, Chris finds himself in the storage room, which seems to be in huge disarray as you can see. But what's even creepier is what he finds on the ground. What's that? There's a bunch. Oh, you should check check if it's fresh. So you'd know you should a leave. Trail of blood. Uh no. Nah. Oh no. Nah. Here's an idea. Check if it's fresh so you'd know if leaving is the next option, bro. What are you doing? What's that? What the hell? Yeah, get out of there, bro. That's vandalism. <coughs> a door? Someone writes 66 on the door and you say that's vandalism, bro. Get out of there! That's foul. Wait, who cares if it's vandalism? Have you seen the building? Your in the entire building is the entire building is a court case of vandalism, bro. What are you throwing? Somebody was bleeding. Is this real? What the fuck? Oh, they were, they were, 
Bro. Uh, it's on the and everything. What? Ah, uh, they had someone on that shit. Oh. You just stumbled upon a crime scene, my boy. Chris finds blood on the floor. This then leads through a door with 666 sprayed on it. Inside our pair of that shoes. Should, that should have been the first sign to get out of there, bro. And the blood is all over. Then he finds bullet casings besides the blood. They had someone there. They had then, someone there. When he hears next, there, surely sends some shiver straight down his spine. Yo, there are bullet cases. Alone. As you can see, Chris hears knocking sounds very close to the crime scene. Just a minute or so later, Chris hears something yet again, but this time it's something somehow even creepier. At this point in the video, some additional narration is required. You see, unfortunately at this exact moment, my camera stopped recording, but I immediately noticed and pressed record to continue filming. I also want to point out that normally in a situation like this, I would have remained calm. But after hearing the stories of the murder that took place here, and seeing what looks like blood and bullet casings on the floor, I decided to leave, instead of investigating any further. Somebody's in there. Yeah. That. Chris then takes a look at his IR camera, which seems to showcase some genuinely bizarre activity on it. Watch this. Now nah, something is definitely going on in that building. You need to get out of there. Something's definitely going on in that building, bro. The camera seemingly shows someone walking in the reflection of a mirror, which is quite unsettling to say the least. But his second IR cam captured footage that might just be even creepier than the previous recording. Why do I keep missing this? I'm not seeing nothing. Bro, something, look, look, probably they, look, people are here. This isn't even on some ghosts or nothing. People are here. They're using that building for something. And they, they probably know you are in that building. But just so they wouldn't blow their cover, you can just go about your day doing your thing. If they if they blow it, bro, nah, you need to get, get out of there. Get out of there. Get out of there while you still can. You are uncovering something you shouldn't be uncovering, bro. Leave. There's an entire operation As you can going see, on in there. Some kind of a shadow person can be seen running through the hallway, caught on a second IR cam. This is one school in which learning is an afterthought. Right now, it's a school that will only strike fear into the hearts of those who dare enter it. And that was seven scary videos. I hope you enjoyed the video, and if you did, yo, go subscribe to Say Spooks, man. He makes some fire banging videos, man. I'm not even going to lie. But what? That was intense, man. That was especially that last video.
that last video was way too intense for a compilation. But look, tell me what you think. My dogs are pissing me off right now, bro. I'm gone.